two vectors p and q are given so we need to find a unique vector in the direction of uh, p cross q so p vector we can write it as 3i cap plus 23j cap plus 2k cap and q vector which is equal to 4i cap plus root 3 j cap plus 2.5 k cap now let's figure out p cross q p vector cross q vector we'll find using this matrix determinant method i cap j cap k cap first we have to write this first vectors coefficients so this is 3 root 3 2 then second vectors 1 4 root 3 2.5 now let's consider the i cap so we should not consider this uh, um, row on this column and we have to multiply these two things and subtract that with the product of these two things so we will get root 3 into 2.5 minus 2 root 3 for this uh, next step we need to consider the j cap here we will have negative sign so the sign is like plus minus plus minus something like that it will change so now negative and we should not consider the row and column corresponding to the j so we have to multiply this one and this one subtract it with the product of this two so it will be 7.5 minus 8 and next one is k cap for k cap again we should not consider on uh, this column on this row so we have to find the product of these two things and subtract with product of this two so we will get 3 root 3 minus 4 root 3 let's simplify this i cap root 3 by 2 for the first term second term will be plus j cap 1 by 2 0.5 will come i have written as 1 by 2 and the third term is plus root 3 k cap so this is the unique vector okay let's consider this is it's not a unique vector it's a vector which is perpendicular or the cross product of these two vectors let's consider this is the cross product of p and q n vector now we want unique vector so n cap can be written as n vector divided by magnitude of n vector so we need to find the magnitude of a vector so for magnitude of n vector what we have to do we have to uh, take the coefficients square them and add them all then take the square root so square root of here it's like we have to find the squares of these coefficients root 3 by 2 square plus 1 by 2 square plus root 3 square so we will get sorry 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 3 this will become 4 3 plus 1 plus 12 so 16 by 4 and we'll get 2 this is the magnitude of n vector now we can write uh, this as 1 by 2 
and here root 3 by 2 i cap plus 1 by 2 j cap so actually this is negative because like 3 minus 4 this is negative so negative root 3 j cap uh, here also you have to put negative but when you square it will become positive 3 only so no need to worry uh, look at the option i mean the part of a question what they have given is root 3 i cap plus 3 j cap negative 2 root 3 k cap which means there is nothing in the denominator so here there is nothing you have to bring that uh, out of the bracket so let's do that one by two this two also i'm taking out root three i cap plus j cap negative so actually in the third term there is no two you have to multiply and divide with two so something like this so what is the x value we are getting it's like two into two four so we can write one by four root three i cap plus j cap negative two root three k cap this will be the unit vector which is in the direction of p cross q so by comparing this unit vector and the one which they have given in the question we can say the value of x is 4 